own scientist, it was a bit surprising if the girl blinded me with something. Welcome to your biology lab here at Ashley High School in southeastern North Carolina. My name is Mrs. Abraham and I will help prepare you for the labs you will participate in by making you familiar with basic biology lab safety procedures. In exploring the lab, we will take a look around a typical lab room and identify some of the major safety features located throughout the room. Next, in lab equipment, we will take a closer look at several of the common pieces of lab equipment you will use throughout this semester. Then, in safe lab practices, you will learn eight very important rules for staying safe in the lab. assigned a lab partner and a location next to a sink. Two lab groups will share one sink that is equipped with soap, paper towels, and a drying rack. Use this sink to wash your hands and to clean your equipment. Never drink water from this lab sink. Each lab also has electrical outlets, internet connections, and a propane gas jet. Make sure that all cords and hoses do not interfere with your lab setup. It is your responsibility to return materials and to clean up this area after each lab activity. Do not leave items in the sink and please throw away any used paper towels. Wipe down the counter before leaving this area. Certain types of chemical waste must be discarded in special containers that would be provided by your teacher. Please do not pour anything down the drain unless you check with your teacher first. Notify your teacher if you accidentally break any glassware. Broken glass should never be thrown in the regular trash can. Instead, use the designated cardboard box used solely for broken glass. Now, let's take a look at a very important, yet often overlooked part of the lab, the floor. You must keep the floor clear of all items. Please place all book bags, purses, and other personal items in your chair or neatly on your desk. Classmates could trip over these items and cause serious injury. Each lab at Ashley has an emergency station. This station houses the safety shower and the eye wash. The safety shower can be used to extinguish fires on people or to rinse off dangerous chemicals. Simply pull down on the handle to activate the shower. The fire blanket is located nearby. This can also be used in case of a fire. Pull down on the bottom of the box to release the blanket. If there is space on the floor, the stop, drop, and roll method will work as well. The eye wash is located under the safety shower. Use the eye wash to rinse out chemicals that have gotten into your eye. You can activate the eye wash by pushing on the lever. A gentle flow of water will then stream up. Put your eye in the water, hold your eyelid open for several minutes, and wash out the chemicals lab is equipped with a fire extinguisher. If there is a fire, your teacher will use the fire extinguisher to put out the flames. Your priority in the event of a fire is to evacuate the lab through one of two exits. Each lab in our school has two exits. Know the location of your exit so you can quickly evacuate the area in case of a fire or other emergency. Examine some of the equipment laid out for you at your lab station. The equipment covered in this safety video covers only the equipment that can cause you harm. You will use a hot plate to heat liquids in the lab. Like your stove at home, a hot plate can get extremely hot and can cause serious burns. For that reason, always hold your hand a few inches away and check for warmth before touching it. You will often be heating liquids in glass containers. When removing these heated glass objects, always be sure to use the safety tongs that are made specifically for that piece of glassware. If you accidentally touch the hot plate, place your hand under cool running water and inform your teacher. You will use a variety of sharp objects, such as scissors and scalpels. 
There are safety tips you should keep in mind when using these objects. Always carry scalpels with their tips pointed down and away from your body. During dissections, cut away from your body and grasp these sharp instruments only by their handles. If you forget these three rules, you could easily cut yourself. If you do accidentally cut yourself, inform your teacher. If you use petri dishes in your lab to grow bacteria, the petri dishes should always be taped closed after you prepare them and should not be reopened. Never open petri dishes to smell the contents. Sometimes in your lab, your teacher will ask you to wear safety goggles or impact glasses. Make sure to follow your teacher's directions. Safety eyewear protects your eyes from accidental chemical splashes and reminds you not to rub your eyes with your hands. The one thing that you will not find at your lab desk is a pair of gloves. You can work safely without gloves during your biology labs, but feel free to bring in your own gloves if you'd like. Scientist, it would be surprising if the girl blinded.